Hey guys, if you are a music producer or a DJ, then I'm going to show you three absolutely crucial wrist stretches that you need to be doing to not only prevent pain, but to help get rid of any sort of wrist pain or tingling or any weirdness that you have going on when you're in your wrist if you're producing music for a while. All right, so first I'm gonna show you what to do, the three stretches, and then afterwards, if you're interested, I'm gonna just sort of explain why they're important and why you should be doing them, okay? So the first exercise is very simple, and it is just doing wrist rolling, all right? So I'm gonna hold my hands just so they're in the frame of the camera, but really all I'm doing is just rotating my wrists all the way around. And I'm not going fast, I'm not trying to you know, break any records, I'm just going, fa uh, just going slow and easy, trying to go through as much range of motion as possible. And this is something that you can do 10 going one way and then 10 going the other way. And it's, it's not really a stretch, but it's just a good way to get your wrists moving and just get them more, more mobile. All right, so that's, and you don't have to do them up here. Like I said, I'm just keeping it in the frame of the camera. You can have your wrist down by your side and, and just do it like that. Doesn't really matter. But doing 10 each way, clockwise, counterclockwise. So that's the first one, doing wrist circles. The other stretch, which is really uh, cool to do, and it, and it has helped a lot of people that I've worked with help get rid of pain in their wrist, is to do what's called a lumbrical stretch. So lumbricals are like muscles in your wrist. And uh, well, you're, this is a little interesting. So you're gonna take your hand, kind of make a, make a claw, and you're gonna put your other hand, and you're gonna push your fingers back. And so when you do that, you should feel like a little bit of a pulling in your, uh, in, your, in your palm, okay? Now when you do this, you wanna make sure your wrist doesn't go back, all right? A lot of times people will preach the, the, the stretch of just pulling your wrist back, but a lot of times when you're producing music and, and you're at the DJ decks, you, your wrist is already extended, and so by doing more of that, you're just gonna cause more pain. So you want your wrist to be pretty neutral as you do this, meaning it should be pretty flat. You shouldn't be in that sort of a position. The only part of your hand that should be going up is, is, your, is your fingers, all right? So, so hopefully that makes a little bit of sense. So see how there's not really any bend in my wrist going up. Um, so if anything, you can actually bend your wrist forward and then pull your fingers up like this, okay? And so as you do that, you'll feel that pull in the palm and that's exactly what you wanna feel. And so when doing this, this is something where you can hold this 30, uh, 20 to 30 seconds and then relax and then you can do the other side. So again, pulling the fingers up, my wrist isn't cocking back or anything and holding 30, 20 to 30 seconds. All right, and then the next stretch that you can do is actually a stretch for your wrist extensors, all right, the muscles on the top of your forearm. Like I said before, producers, DJs will, will often spend, a, or really anyone at a computer will spend a lot of time with their wrists kind of cocked back like this. And so if we can work on kind of stretching the other muscles that uh, really aren't getting any love, then it can help to get rid of some pain and, and help prevent it. For this one, you wanna take your, your hand and just pull it down. Now you gotta be careful with this one because if, if you really just go into it, it's gonna, it's gonna hurt a lot. But if you're, if you're gentle with it, it'll, it'll feel, you should feel a pull like in the top of your forearm. So you just bring your wrist forward, you cock your wrist forward, you take your other hand, light pull, nothing heavy. And then once you, granted your, your arm shouldn't be up like this, by the way, I'm just doing this just to be within frame of the camera. You can do it down by your side. You pull your wrist, and so when I do that, I feel a little bit of a pull. Shouldn't be anything intense, just a light pull. And you hold that 20 to 30 seconds, and then you switch, and then you do it on the other side. And then same thing, you should feel like a pull across the top of your forearm. All right, and so with, with all those stretches, you can do them two to three times a day. If you're doing like this long producing session or, or you're doing a, a crazy long show, then if you can find time to do that once every couple hours, then that's even better. Because again, when, it, when you're in those, any sort of position for a long period of time, your body doesn't like it. And then the way it responds is through pain. So if you can keep things moving, especially doing the stretches that I just showed you, it can help keep you out of that and keep you just 
produce, producing more music and, and playing more shows without pain, which is great. That's the goal of most people, I would imagine. All right, so why do we even need to, to, to work on that? I, I, I already alluded to, to why you need to do it um, in the beginning of this video, but I'll kind of talk a little bit more about it. So when you're, when you're at a computer or you're at a, a set of DJ decks, the, the way that the, it's all about ergonomics. And so when you're sitting at a computer, it's very hard to get proper ergonomics. And what tends to happen is your keyboard uh, or even just laptop is down low and that causes your wrist to, to cock back. Um, and you know, that's not a big deal. Like I can keep my wrist here for, for a while and it's not gonna be a problem. But if you're here for, for hours on end, and for days on end, then what happens is that these muscles start to get very irritated on the front of your wrist. And so you have, um, this gets a little bit complicated, but just sort of bear with me if, if you're already at this part of the video. So you have a segment here called your carpal tunnel, and you have a bunch of little important structures that kind of run through there. You got um, some nerves, some arteries, and, and tendons that all kind of run through there. But the problem is, is that the space is, is very small, it's very limited. And so there's, there's a, a lot of traffic in a very narrow freeway, I guess, or limited lanes in the freeway, if that's a, maybe, maybe that analogy works. And so what happens is that if you are in this sort of position, it makes an already tight space even tighter. And so if you're in that for a short period of time, it's not gonna be a problem. You just take your wrist out and, and everything's all, all cool. But if you're in that position for a long period of time, then that tight space becomes tighter and then your body doesn't like it. And it's like, what are you doing to me? And then all this pain starts shooting through your wrist and, and, your, and your fingers. And sometimes it even comes back up and you start feeling uh, neck pain and it's not good. It's not good for anyone. So main take home points are to one, try those, try those three stretches. Again, you can try them two to three times a day. Or if you're doing a long grind of producing or, or doing a long set, then definitely try them once every couple hours um, at minimum, just to just to help keep you out of pain. Or if you even or if you have pain, it helps take you out of it too. All right. So I hope this was helpful for you. All right. If you're watching this far, you might as well hit the like button. And if you want to see more awesome content like this, then definitely hit that subscribe button. And I will see you in the next video.